Oh man, you guys are gonna hate me for this. We're gonna have to put Black Ops 4 in there, man. Black Ops 4 just gotta be in, it's a D tier game. Yo, what's up everybody, Crow here. I'm back at it again, got another YouTube video for you guys. Today, we are gonna be doing a Call of Duty tier list. I think it's pretty fitting considering MW2 is about to drop October 21st. Warzone 2 and DMZ are about to drop in November. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the tier list for Call of Duty. Please check it out. You guys stick around, please like, comment, subscribe. Drop in the comments what all duties would be what tier and let me know what your guys thoughts are thank you so much i don't really know how a tier list is supposed to go this is gonna be the crows tier list i guess all right so do we start from like older game to newer game or do we start from wherever i want what do you guys think you guys have an opinion in this as well worst to best all right i like that we got cod 2 on here we got the original call of duty bro let's go ahead and get this out of the way bro all right so worst the absolute worst guys i think the absolute worst i think it's got to be advanced warfare you know i think advanced warfare was was hands down just a a bad game and kind of going into my thought process on this is i think call of duty should be kind of boots on the ground we shouldn't be flying around i don't think you should be jetpacking around i don't think you should be running on walls i don't think you should be doing any of that so i think that is definitely if not the worst tied for the worst and it would be tied probably with infinite warfare and the reason i say that is just because i hate the futuristic vibe i legit cannot stand it i'm gonna go literally the worst to the best we don't want jetpacks in call of duty Okay, those two are definitely out. Guys, I'm gonna have to, I'm sorry. Oh man, you guys are gonna hate me for this. We're gonna have to put Black Ops 4 in there, man. Black Ops 4 just gotta be in, it's a D tier game. Blocked? I'm sorry, dude. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm holding strong. I just don't think it deserves to be up there. You know, it's definitely not gonna be S tier. It definitely doesn't deserve to be up there with like these games that are you know, amazing. Moving forward. One of the games that did it the worst with boots on the ground has to be Cold War. And for that reason, we're gonna put Cold War in the D category as well. Everything about it is different. The movement I don't like and the gun are not good and they tried to bring it together with warzone and it just kind of ruined the game you know whenever they brought in cold war to warzone it started to go downhill very very quickly okay it's not as bad as advanced warfare we'll bring black ops 4 to c i think that's really it for d tier cold war advanced warfare and infinite warfare now moving on to c tier i gotta put ghosts c tier as well they tried to break some new boundaries as far as slide canceling a couple other things with the sniper scopes etc and for that i appreciate them but everything else i was really not a fan of next up on c tier i gotta put cod mobile in there i don't really think this should be on the list at all however the only reason it's not going to d tier is because i do like the fact that i can be in the airport and be playing some warzone on my phone so we're gonna put call of duty mobile in uh c tier next up cod one two and three they're all gonna go b tier and the reason why graphics wise they're not you know they're not gonna compete with these other games but the nostalgia behind these games, they're essentially the footprint for what we have now. So without Call of Duty 1, without Call of Duty 2, without Call of Duty 3, we would not be where we are today. You know, we would not be having the games that we have today. Along with Call of Duty 1, 2, and 3, I think I'm also going to put Call of Duty World War 2 as a B tier Call of Duty. I did enjoy World War 2. I had some good times. And I met some cool people during the game. I thought it was actually pretty fun to play. I think it was a solid game. Next, I'm also going to put Vanguard as a B tier. And the reason why Vanguard made it so high is because I love the old weapons that they're bringing into the game. And that's the only reason why. Vanguard otherwise would have slipped to a C tier. I never play the multi for Vanguard, but having those old guns, in Warzone. That's the reason why it's a B tier game. To me. The game itself is decent. The multiplayer is definitely better than these C tier and D tier games. Moving on, this is going to be tough. The first A tier that we're going to put up there is going to be Warzone. And the reason why Warzone to me didn't make an S tier is for the simple fact that they let the hacking go crazy, the cheating, the aimbot, and they let everything go wild. Ghost at C? Ghost is not good. It's just not, it's not fun. So for that reason, Warzone to me slips through the cracks from an S tier game. Wait, three? is a no it's not i don't think so i think call of duty one two and three are all b tier because like how i'm looking at this deb can i go play this tomorrow and still have fun with it but warzone slipped through the cracks from an s tier to an a tier game simply for the fact that they don't care about the community they let hacking go rampant whenever obviously there's different ways to combat cheating we look at a lot of other games that are out there doing it whether it be fortnite or apex or whatever they're doing a good job of combating the cheating next game that's going to be an a tier game it's going to be call of duty 4 call of duty 4 is very very close 
close to me to making an S tier game, but it just didn't quite make the cut for me. It was a great game. I enjoyed it. They could have done better with it, but at the same time, it did set that, that footprint for MW2 and um, it could have been greater, but it was, it was still good. Next, Black Ops 3. I'm going to make it an A tier game as well. And the reason why I'm doing this is because Black Ops 2, I felt like they were on a steady progression going up from Black Ops 1 to Black Ops 2, and they didn't quite keep it going with Black Ops 3, in my opinion. I thought Black Ops 3 was good, and that's why it's A tier, not a B, C, or D, but I feel like they didn't continue that upward projection of being just a different game, you know? I do still agree that it was a fun game, but it just didn't continue. Next A tier, I believe, is Modern Warfare. I think Modern Warfare was a good game. I can actually go and play Modern Warfare multiplayer and, and enjoy it, but it can't compete. It can't be on the same list as these next games I'm about to put on the S tier. I'm sorry, but Modern Warfare cannot be on the same tier as Modern Warfare 2. They're not even comparable. With that being said, it was a fun game. I can still go and play it. It's it's all right, but it's just, it can't compare to Modern Warfare 2. With all that being said, these remaining games I have, they're going to be going on S tier, and I think they all deserve it. We'll start with World at War. Whether it's these OG guns or the OG zombies, World at War is 100% S tier. Even the multi was fun. Like, I could go play some World at War multi and have fun with it. The zombies alone get it on the S tier. Next up, we got to go with Modern Warfare 2 here, man. I mean, whenever you think of some of the great times I had playing multiplayer, you know, we got Terminal, we we got high rise we got wasteland we got a state we got all these freaking og maps that uh they're just they're just second to none the og guns you got the intervention the acr the ump and then you talk about the campaign you talk about the special operations you talk about the og prestige system you talk about the just everything man like this game they did it right next for me the og black ops it's gotta go on a s tier list the zombies on it nocturne and totem all these other maps man they, it's just crazy the rise the multi uh, i had some of my best times playing some call of duty black ops multiplayer it was amazing I would go back and play it. I actually have this downloaded on my PC right now. This is definitely an S tier game. And it really breaks my heart to see Black Ops go in such a downward spiral, man. Like we're talking Black Ops 1, good. Black Ops 2, good. Black Ops 3, pretty good. To Black Ops 4, to Advanced Warfare 2, Infinite Warfare. It just, it just breaks your heart, man. Or Advanced Warfare, excuse me. Next up, Black Ops 2. As I said earlier, guys, the reason why Black Ops 3 did not get put on the S tier is for the simple reason Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 were so good to me and they didn't continue to project how good it could have been. And Cold War, obviously, yeah, Cold War was chopped. Black Ops 2 definitely goes on there. The zombies on Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 alone get it on the S tier. The multi on, on Black Ops 2 was pretty good. I enjoyed it as well. Multi on Black Ops 1, I definitely enjoyed it. And probably one of my favorite multis of all time, only second to Modern Warfare 2 two would be modern warfare three modern warfare three was a great time all the way around the multi the spec ops the campaign was good absolutely grinded out the guns it was amazing the maps were phenomenal the sniping was awesome with the msr which i believe they're bringing back to mw2 so guys that's how i've got my call of duty tier list we have world at war modern warfare 2 call of duty black ops black ops 2 and modern warfare 3 as s tier game war zone call of duty 4 black ops 3 modern warfare as a tier b tier we've got cod one two and three world war two call of duty vanguard c tier um black ops 4 call of duty ghosts call of duty mobile and then d tier games we got cold war infinite warfare and advanced warfare i don't know if you guys agree but if you guys can put your tier list in the comments make sure you hit that like turn the noti bell on hit that subscribe button thank you guys so much and i hope you guys enjoy the video